Sorry, down here. Please. I'm not driving. I need you to move. Sir. One second, I'm showing David something. David, come here, please. No, I need to move. No, you don't tell me where to go. Ah, see what I mean? <laughs> see what I mean? There's, you've got confidential details on the seat there. For GDPR, that is a breach. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're taking a look at Digbeth Police Station here in Birmingham. Am I okay? I have nothing to do with this gentleman. Alright, okay, no problem. Have you had a report? No, mate, no, it's fine. Okay, I'll let you carry on. I'm schizophrenic. Oh, yeah, okay. Schizophrenic. I don't have my. Sorry? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hold on, David Cooper 0139. Oh, it matches. Brilliant, David. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's okay then. I'll just ask you a simple question. What are you filming? Yeah, I heard you, mate. I heard you. No problem. We'll just establish who you were first. All right. I'm not outside the police station. I'm outside uh, Art Quarter. You just come walking down from it. All right, so I've just parked my scooter there, got my camera out. All of a sudden, you lot come out, and I think your concern is with this gentleman there, David. All right, okay. nothing well, to do with me, my friend. Well, okay, okay. Well, it's also a concern that you're filming outside of the police station. I'm not outside the police station. I'm outside of the art okay. quarter. So I said you. I don't know what the well, problem is, mate. Yeah, let me show you something, David. I'll tell you what the concern is. Follow me. Do you know this police vehicle that's parked here? I just want to show you something very quick before they take it away. Come on. So, David, um, on view, on view, we have... David? Right, these, these officers... Ah, now it's yeah. against yourself. You don't want to know, do you? Uh, anyway, sorry, down here... I'm not driving I need you to move, sir. One second, I'm showing David something. David, come here, sir, please. I need to move. No, you don't tell me where to go. Ah, see what I mean? <laughs> see what I mean? There's, you've got confidential details on the seat there. For GDPR, that is a breach. I can clearly see the, the name and address and the phone number of the person you've written those details down for. Not very good, chaps, is it? We've got 23796 and we've got 25606 none of them wanted to engage in the actual problem but David thinks he can come over and ask me what I'm doing outside a police station when I'm nowhere near the police station I can't believe he did that David anyway let's come and um, have a look at the place because I wasn't actually outside it at that well, moment in time right, yeah. I am now I'm gonna have a look at the place now yeah because obviously something you you don't want us to film well no listen come on man you in, started this in today's, no, it was quite a simple question well, don't mind me in business I don't know what you're doing with you on your day off or what it is you do but I'm not going to I don't go around filming outside police stations I wasn't so I think it's a fair and legitimate question in today's in today's era, okay. security risk. Okay, let, let's have a discussion about it then. So the police station, the police station, does it end where that wall changes colour just there? I think I'm going to get into discussion for you. Boundary lines. Okay, okay. Well, David. I'm a busy person. I've got stuff okay, to do. before you go, you to, I just want to let you, you know. To spend your days off doing that. No, that's fine. Okay, and not answer my questions, which what, are legitimate. What was the question? No, you've had your, you had your chance. Okay. You bored me to tears. I've got work to do. Just a little warning for you then, David. Okay, you don't want to hear it. No problem. didn't want to hear um, the little advance notification of what's going to happen next because I was boring him to tears <laughs> oh dear I won't get the number but just as the door opens well, I'll just that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about I said to you station, I've just said to you I won't building. get the number now I am entering that building okay, <sighs> as a police officer and I'm submitting the confidential code to enter it. Yeah, you also you need the that. you also need the correct card. Different code for every card. So don't don't give me that rubbish. What are you talking about? It's not the same code for everyone's card, is it? Is it a card or is it just simply a code here? 
Oh, you just got the code only. All I wanted to do is have a quick look in. I've got a drone in my bag. I'm going to take the drone over as well while I'm here. Oh, all right, yeah. so, so we're just making a video. That's all of the general area, that's all. Have a lovely day. Nothing sir. to worry about, David, at all. Have a lovely day. Spend your time well, sir. Well, Thank you, mate. Thank you. Hiya. Yeah. Camera. Yeah, yeah, it's got a built in gimbal, look. Oh, yeah. It's quite under. Uh, better quality than a phone. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the gentleman that was walking by, totally unrelated to myself, he was causing the commotion as we first saw when we started the camera up. And the police just came out to see what he was doing, that's all. So, now it's time for me to get the drone up and have a look uh, at this place from above. It does look quite small. So I'm not expecting to see much, but while we're here, we may as well make a video out of it. So here we go, we're still in the Birmingham CTR, but as we mentioned uh, previously, a CTR does not apply to uh, the DJI Mini 2, which weighs 249 grams. So while we're here in this area, let's have a quick look above Digbeth Police Station. See why David was so concerned about somebody filming, not even outside the station. The location where I was standing was just there. Just in front of that scooter which I parked up. And as you can clearly see, the police station starts there. But it's such a small little thing. Look how small it is. Don't even think they've got any... Uh, Police mark vehicles in this one. I think they're all parked on the road outside. Yeah, that's a small little yard, look. There they are now, just going back in. Well, they're thinking about going back in, aren't they? They're not too sure at the minute. So let's have a look at it from the front. We'll just make sure we're higher than all the surrounding buildings. Keep ourselves nice and safe. There we go. We're higher than all the buildings now, though. So, let's have a look. It looks quite a nice old building. That one. The workers are now drilling away across the road. So it's not going to be a long one. But we may as well get a full perimeter view of it while we're here. And that's all there is to it. So while we're in this spot, we'll just have a quick look around. Loads of flat space over there. Look at that. That's very unusual, isn't it? Obviously, it cleared the way for some future project there. We've got, even got a football stadium in the distance. Or some sort of stadium there. Looks a bit too small to be a football stadium, but I don't know. So having a good look around. Right next to the bull ring. We've got the HS2 project that we visited earlier. See that on a previous video. The train there just waiting for its signal. Chilton Railways. And then that brings us back to where we started. So, not a majorly exciting video there on the drone, but we needed to get it up, didn't we? Just to show the voice of the drone users. That we, uh, as long as it's not in a restricted area, we've got line of sight, we've got our operator ID on the drone. 
then we're good to go. So we're bringing David down now and look we can clearly see the police parking is on the outside on the road here in these marked bays. Where we saw earlier that vehicle parked on the double yellows, my problem wasn't really with the double yellows, it was just the fact that they had some uh, personal details on display, which I spotted just before I parked the scooter up. So that was Digbeth Police Station, and these noisy buggers started drilling while I was trying to talk. <laughs> Look at that for a drill bit going through there. So they're transporting gas under the road and into the building. Look how wide the hole needs to be. You don't see that every day. I think he needs a rest. <laughs> so we won't film him while he, uh, he gets worn out doing his drilling. We'll just have a quick look at the front of this police station. We didn't manage to see the front. Look how worn out the door is. Let's see if they've got any confidential information on display in this one. And no, they haven't. That's good to see. And this is the front. <laughs> Imagine having that at the front of a police station, eh? Look how overflowing that is. Disgusting. And as you would expect, closed to the public. There you go. What's the world coming to, eh? A community notice board, which you can't even see anything useful. All I can see is, you will not be seen. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, completely closed off, all the way around. And then we get to a restaurant. But they're obviously doing major improvement works around this area. This will look beautiful once it's all finished in that paving. Plainclothes police officers there, wondering what I'm doing outside. Getting his phone out now, just to make some communication inside. But yeah, that's Digbeth Police Station. We didn't really expect to see much with it being so small. But there was that gentleman, weren't there, who was walking by just as we arrived, making all that noise, which led them to come out. So, we saw his true colours, and when we wanted to show him the actual, um, GDPR breach of that customer information on display in the vehicle. He didn't want to know, did he? It's all his, his agenda or no agenda. So we'll leave that one there from Digworth Police Station here in Birmingham. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now. What's the diameter of that hole? 63. Alright, thank you. 63 mil. Wow.